All right, Buckethead, so I was perusing the internet, and I found this video by the name of the Pro Picker, and the video was called Fighting at the Most Savage Yard Cell of My Life, and just check this out. Settle down. It's not it even eight. It's not even eight. We have one minute. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. That is actually like men fighting over children's toys. I love calling video games children's toys because that makes people angry because adults play video games as well. But yeah, let's just jump right into this. That reference is culturally relevant now because Review Tech USA is gone off the platform. All right, so I think we all know what a video game reseller is. It's someone that goes out and finds video games at a very cheap price and then resells them for profit on eBay, Amazon, whatever you have it, basically just driving the market price up for everybody that actually likes video games. Now, as a video game collector myself, it's hard for me to sit down and actually say that video game reselling is a bad thing because I am guilty of going out and finding good deals on video games and buying them. But the difference between me and a video game reseller is that I buy the video game and let them collect dust on my shelf. These people go out and sell them for one more billion dollars. I mean, these people genuinely get off to the fact that they can resell a video game they bought for $10 for like 500 or something. And well, I found this video called Fighting at the Most Savage Yard Sale of My Life and God help us all, because if this is what the video game collecting market is, we're all cooked. We're not going to be able to compete with this. And just looking at the first frame of the video, look at all these troglodytes waiting there, hunting for the video games, the sweet, sweet video games. I blame this all on you, Phoenix Resell. I actually met him at the Southeast Game Exchange. He was pretty nice. Without further ado, let's just jump into the video, boys and girls. So an ad popped up on both Facebook and Craigslist, and it featured just tons of different video games, totes filled with regular Nintendo games, Super Nintendo, there's PS2, PlayStation, just all kinds of video games. And of course I tried to reach out, I think a bunch of people tried to reach out and see if they could work out a deal on everything. She was gonna wait till the day of the sale, I guess. So the reason that she did not accept your sale before the yard sale happened is because she wanted to sell the stuff at the yard sale. She had the precognition that the video game she was selling is what was going to bring people to her garage sale. And I think you are weird for wanting to buy them before the yard sale even happened. But wait, it gets even crazier. Oh my God. Okay, I haven't even watched this video fully yet, but look at how many people are here. That is 14 people lined up at that garage shell before it even opens. And I bet every single one of them are wanting to get those Nintendo and PlayStation gyms that she is probably selling for 37 cents a piece. You might be like, Joseph, how do you know they're there for the, the video games? Look at them. They're all balding. Only bald people play video games. These human beings are displaying the traits of scavengers. They're circling over a dead body, circling to every other vulture in the world or in the premises that there is a dead carcass right there on the ground and they all need to get in on this. Except this guy. He he want he wants uh he wants all the video games for himself. I mean there's people here with fucking totes in their hands. Like they're they're ready to snatch up these video games. They came prepared. They came to to resell. This guy's even got a GoPro on him, and I don't even think he's with this guy, who is the guy making the video. Okay, straight to the video games. Just as I, I already knew that, but look at these people. They are literally actually fighting over video games. Oh my god, these are grown men fighting over children's toys. That is absolutely insane. That's asinine. Why post this on YouTube? This doesn't make you look like an American hero. This makes you look like an absolute slob. And yet, still, 5,000 people went to this video and said, yeah, I, I like this. I want to... I wanna Still, this woman's NES games and SNES games for 36 cents a piece so I can sell them for 
50 bajillion dollars on the internet. <laughs> I mean, in all reality, you did just grab the whole fucking box of video games. Like, I understand this is a garage sale, but like, there are there were like 14 people there that I counted in that first 20 seconds of the video. Leave some for the rest of us. I mean, you literally have a whole tote of fucking video games here that you're probably going to get for like five dollar dues, five American bones, and you're going to sell that for 70 more billion dollars like you're not losing out on any type of profit here you're like you're actually just taking the video games from people that could have came to this yard sale to build their own collection or to play games that they actually want to play and you're going to resell them so that those people can't actually get them for a fair price. And somebody's gonna say, oh, well, the market price is the fair price. No, the fuck it isn't. My favorite example of a video game that isn't fairly priced is Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch, a game that sold almost 10 million copies uh, in 2020 for a console that sold like 140 million consoles at this point. It's like 80 bucks, sometimes even 100. Like people are paying $100 for this game that sold 10 million copies four years ago. It is not a rare game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's people like this that are like, ooh, I can get so much money for this. Like you're actually scum for doing that. You're a bad person. <laughs> people like this are literally the reason that I started emulating more video games. For the longest time, I was like, I have to play it on the original console. But after I bought my Steam Deck, I was like, what the hell? Emulation is really fun and easy, and I can do it on the go. I can play any PS2 game ever on the go. It's like it's not worth fighting these troglodytes over video games. Like, yeah, sure, I'll still buy a copy of Sonic 06 when I see it, but like, it's like, why? Why, if I'm competing with troglodytes? I'm competing with mentally stunted man-children. It's ironic that I say that, though, because I am a mentally stunted man-child. Why is my whole apartment shaking? Someone just put something in the washing machine that's making it shake like hell, so... It's not an earthquake, I'm still alive. Got Silent Hill. So here he has found a copy of Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which is a game that he sold for almost $300. I wonder how much he paid for that game. Uh, but we ended up splitting it right down the middle. I think that was sort of his expectation. Like when we went to check out, it was 400 and he busted out two. So I busted out two and it's whatever it's a done deal now at this point so and it's not that big of a deal to me but just thought i would mention it probably what i would do differently in this circumstance uh if i had it to do over again if you know it was just him and me partnered up and then had my wife check out separately or something because that you know kind of diluted how many games we should have got for like, you know, both of us working. Okay, so I was right. He only paid $200 for the lot, but he shared it with the guy that he came with. But he's literally actually sitting there complaining about spending $200 on probably around $600 to $800 worth of video games. And he's literally scheming against the guy. He is preying on the guy that helped him out. He is preying on his downfall. He's literally like, yeah, I should bring somebody with me and then also bring my wife so I can send her to check out the video game so he can't get any of the spoils that he helped me acquire. I mean, the jokes write themselves at this point. There's no way that somebody can wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, this guy that helped me, he doesn't deserve anything at all. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video, Bucketheads. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye